Welcome to WatchNet TV and another edition of What's in the Box. Today we're reviewing an Omega Planet Ocean Extra Large Chronograph. Uh, this is a reference 2910-5081 and it's really quite a fantastic watch. Let's see if we can get the box off here. Get started. See what's in the box. First off we have as usual the Omega instruction manual in all of its multi-page glory and multi-languages. We have the warranty documentation, uh, in this case from a U.S. Judge. Oops, my bad. Reference numbers are wrong. Looks like I got the wrong, I got the right watch in the wrong box this time. Oh well, I have all the right warranty cards for it. I just got mixed up there. So let's take a look at the watch. And this is a massive hunk of wristwatch as dive watches go. As I mentioned, this is a 45.5 millimeter case, which is a very large case. I mean, even larger than the, this monstrous BNR 03 that I've got on my wrist by two or three millimeters. It's a AR coating and on the crystal and is the standard uh, Omega 3313 column wheel coaxial chronograph movement which is really a beautiful movement. Um, it has a unidirectional diver's bezel that runs in 120 click stops and is really a beautiful piece of work. Surprisingly nice sized watch for something you'd ex you expect to be larger get near 46 millimeters it's obviously getting fairly big but I know a lot of folks like watches that size it seems to be the contemporary thing of the day this watch is this is actually a unworn watch um, has not been out of the display case or ever, or ever previously sold it has a very nice uh, Omega does a black rubber strap on these things that's kind of a thinner rubber and is edge sewn and looks very much like a black leather clasp although it is a uh, refined rubber. Omega's also does an extremely nice job with the deployment clasps on their straps rather than just adapting them from a tang style buckle strap they make them specifically for their deployment buckle. So they have a flat edge on the outside and have the adjustable piece on the inside, the adjustable part of the strap on the inside that is kind of completely covered up when the strap is closed. And just makes a very nice finish look to the watch as opposed to having an overlapping set of holes punched on the exterior of the watch. Um, as I mentioned, this is a new watch. It's seen a little bit of shop wear. Um, back of the case has a couple of very small marks in it. Typical kind of thing you'd expect from shop handling. But uh, again, no real major signs of any wear. And of course, the plastic is still on the buckle inside surfaces. So, really pretty, really pretty watch. Um, chronograph is runs properly. Um, all the hands reset to zero properly. The uh, bezel rotation is proper. And everything about this watch is just beautiful. A bit large maybe, but if you're into 46 millimeter watches, this could be the hot ticket. It's a really nicely put together piece and it's nice to have a combined diver bezel, diver's bezel, excuse me, and a chronograph movement all in the same case kind of makes for a really handy wristwatch package for diving or outdoor sports or water sports or whatever you might want to use it for. This watch is available for sale at watchnut.com so please visit our site and take a closer look when you, if you'd like to and thank you for watching.